We have the latest details about the actor, Matthew Perry's death. Five people have been detained in relation to his death. These details are from a plea deal made by some of the accused. Matthew Langford Perry was born August 19, 1969. He was found dead in his Pacific Palisades home on October 28, 2023. He was an American and Canadian actor. He gained international fame for starring as Chandler Bing on the NBC television sitcom, Friends. Matthew was struggling with drug and alcohol abuse. He had an issue with a drug called ketamine. Ketamine is a dissociative anesthetic used medically for induction and maintenance of anesthesia. It is also used as a treatment for depression and pain management. It is a compound that was derived from phencyclidine in 1962 in pursuit of a safer anesthetic with fewer hallucinogenic effects. On August 17, five individuals were arrested in connection with Matthew's death. They were physician Salvador Placencia, 42, and 41-year-old Jasveen Sunga, whom the DOJ's press release referred to as the Ketamine Queen of North Hollywood, face 18 criminal counts for allegedly distributing ketamine to Perry during the final weeks of the actor's life. Co-conspirators named in the case are Perry's live-in assistant Kenneth Awamasa, 59, Dr. Mark Chavez, 54, and Eric Fleming, 54, who was described as Perry's acquaintance. Uwamasa and Fleming pleaded guilty earlier this month to one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine. Fleming pleaded guilty to an additional charge of distribution of ketamine resulting in death. Chavez has agreed to plead guilty to one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine. According to the plea deal, the following is alleged to have happened. On the morning of October 28, Perry's live-in assistant, Kenneth Uwamasa, administered a shot of ketamine to the actor around 8.30 a.m. By 12.45 p.m., Perry had instructed Awamasa to give him another injection while Matthew watched a movie. Roughly 40 minutes later, Perry requested another injection, allegedly telling Awamasa, shoot me up with a big one. The live-in assistant administered a third injection to Perry while the 54-year-old was near or in a jacuzzi. Awamasa then left home to run errands for Perry. When he returned home, the assistant found Perry face down in the jacuzzi deceased. Perry was introduced to Dr. Salvador Placencia, a ketamine source, in September by Awamasa. Placencia, who obtained ketamine from Dr. Mark Chavez, allegedly taught the assistant how to inject Perry with ketamine. Chavez previously ran a ketamine clinic and allegedly submitted a bogus prescription in the name of a former patient to secure the drug. In text messages disclosed in the indictments, Placencia allegedly wrote to Chavez, I wonder how much this moron will pay, and let's find out. Iwamasa paid Placencia $55,000 for liquid ketamine and ketamine lozenges from September 30th until Perry's death October 28th. According to a plea deal made, the following information has come to light in this case. In the days leading up to his death, on October 12th, Placencia arrived at Perry's home with ketamine vials after the actor had a ketamine infusion from a medical doctor. Placencia administered a large dose of ketamine to Perry, who experienced an adverse medical reaction. The ketamine had caused a significant spike in Perry's systolic blood pressure and caused his body to freeze up, prohibiting him from talking or moving. Uwamasa and Placencia moved Perry to a couch, according to the plea agreement. Let's not do that again, Placencia allegedly told Uwamasa, before leaving additional vials at the home for the assistant to inject. Uwamasa began to look for additional sources of ketamine as Perry's addiction spiraled out of control, authorities claimed. The assistant contacted middleman Eric Fleming, who allegedly worked with Jasveen Sunga, October 10th. Just got this from my person, Fleming wrote in text messages included in Uwamasa's plea agreement documents. She only deals with high-end and celebs. If it were not great stuff, she'd lose her business. Fleming allegedly delivered 25 vials of ketamine on October 14th and an additional 25 vials on October 24th. The actor's assistant injected Perry 6 to 8 times a day between October 24th and October 27th, authorities claimed. Fleming allegedly got the vials from a person named Jasveen Sunga. She was known as the Ketamine Queen. She allegedly maintained a stash house located in North Hollywood, California, used for the purpose of manufacturing, storing, and distributing controlled substances, including methamphetamine, a Schedule II controlled substance, and ketamine, a Schedule III controlled substance, 
According to court documents, Iwamasa found Perry unconscious at least two times at the actor's home throughout the month of October. Matthew died from an apparent drowning at his California home, law enforcement sources previously confirmed to Fox News Digital. He was 54. His live-in assistant Kenneth Iwamasa came back from running errands. Perry was found dead face down in the jacuzzi. Perry's autopsy report was later released, saying the actor died from acute effects of ketamine, along with coronary artery disease, buprenorphine effects, contributing to his death. Kenneth Awamasa pleaded guilty August 7 to one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine causing death and has already filed a plea agreement. Sunga, aka the Ketamine Queen, and physician Salvador Placencia are charged with one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine. Sunga is also charged with one count of maintaining a drug-involved premises, one count of possession with intent to distribute methamphetamine, one count of possession with intent to distribute ketamine, and five counts of distribution of ketamine. Perry's acquaintance, Eric Fleming, pleaded guilty August 8 to one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine and one count of distribution of ketamine resulting in death. Fleming admitted in court documents that he distributed the ketamine that killed Perry. He also agreed to a plea deal. Dr. Mark Chavez agreed to plead guilty to one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine as part of his plea agreement. The San Diego-based doctor admitted to selling ketamine to Placencia, including ketamine that he had diverted from his former ketamine clinic. The Wamasa faces up to 15 years in prison. Fleming's charges come with a maximum sentence of 25 years. Chavez, who is scheduled to be arraigned August 30th, faces up to 10 years in prison. Keith Morrison, the longtime Dateline correspondent and Perry's stepfather, said Perry's struggles with alcohol and drug addiction were a disease and difficult to beat. Morrison and Suzanne Perry have since started the Matthew Perry Foundation to assist agencies and organizations that help people who are struggling with addiction and substance abuse. If you suspect you or someone you know needs help with alcohol abuse, you can call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration's National Helpline at 1 800 662. H-E-L-P. We will bring you more on this case later as it goes to trial. Seems like it is similar to the case involving Michael Jackson and others. Please join us again next time for more true crime stories. Thanks again, and please subscribe.